Hey everyone, today I'm doing a video on Hack the Box. I saw somebody do this on YouTube and I was like, oh, that's so cool. I went and tried it myself and I couldn't figure out what to do. I couldn't even figure out how the website worked. I didn't understand what it was. It seems like it's way more advanced than what I want to be doing. In a couple of videos, I did find a, a JavaScript puzzle and I recorded it. And so I'm going to show you that now. Miscellaneous web. Here we go. We're here. The MD5 for life. M MD5. It's a hashing thing. I don't want to hack it. I don't want to have anything to do with MD5 hash. I don't know how to fake an MD5 hash. I am not going to do anything but first look at the guide and scheme it and see if there's anything good in it. There's not a guide, is there? They're only for starting points. Please, somebody just give me information. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I, I have access to a machine. And it's a Docker host. That's great. Oh, my God. I can finally get it. Okay, MD5. If I type in A, too slow. What? Too so, do I, do I paste this in too? So I've got to take this and put it in there immediately. I got to execute this with like JavaScript. We're getting somewhere. This is going to be so good. Oh, I'm so excited. I have no clue what to do, but we're going to figure it out together. This is H3 and there is no other H3. And then is a form and an input. And I need to change the value of the input to be equal to the H3. Then I need to click on the submit. Stuff sounds so bored. Document doc query selector h3. I got it. Dot what text content. Great. And then gosh, I'm going to make it a function. We'll just call it T. I can't think of what to call it right now. MD5 hash. I don't know. Why did I put a space? I don't know what this thing is. It says encrypt a string. I'll just call it a string, I guess. Can I just do this in sublime text and copy paste it in? I don't want to do it here. I have a sublime text window right here. Let's do that. Forget all this stuff. And then I can just execute it immediately. I love the syntax highlighting. Thank you. Here's my string. I get that string and then I put it in the inputs. We look at, uh, ha, there's a placeholder in it. Name is hash. We're going to, we're going to document dot query selector name equals hash. That's it. Yeah. But what do I do with it? I have value equals string. I think that's what I do. Let's try that. And then. We get to click on the submit button. If I get the form, I think I can just submit the form, but like literally calling submit like that. Well, let's try it too slow. Oh, I have to do it immediately after it loads. Hang on. See that it's reloading the page. Yeah. It's reloading the page. It has to be on page load. Oh, I see. There's some challenge here. We're already getting to an interesting point where the page reloads and I have to catch it when it reloads somehow. I'm going to shrink this just a bit. Ah. And I can do an onload, but that's not helping me. I want to click submit as soon as the page loads. I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm assuming something like that. It's saying too slow when I type in something. MD5 encrypt the string. Too slow makes me think I need to copy this to here. But what if I do this and I use like MD5? I don't think you can MD5 it with JavaScript like that. It says MD5, as in this is the MD5 of the string. Oh, now we're going to do MD5. See if there's a JavaScript, anything MD5. Please say this is not something crazy. How to MD5 hash string JavaScript. Too slow means I'm doing it too slow. It needs to happen immediately. I execute it as soon as the page loads. Still, but you don't just copy and submit. That's incorrect. I don't care about any of this. Give me the answer I'm looking for. Where's the stack overflow? There it is. Where's the one that I actually care about? Function to generate MD5 hash. Crypto JS. I don't have crypto. Hang on. What are you, what are you guys loading in here? Where's your script tags? Do you have, no, you don't have anything? Nothing? Maybe like a curl call or something? Crypto JS. I would also recommend using SHA-256. I know that, but I don't want to insult crypto.js. What if we can use Pika Pack to bring it in and then it gives me a library to do it? You guys know what Pika Pack is? Pika Pack. I think pretty sure this is the, yeah, this is site. So I don't think they want this. This is not what I want. Sky Pack. This one. This is what I want. And I have to inject a script tag with this information in it. We could try it. I need to, let's see, document dot create element and then script and then I'm doing this all from memory script element and then I don't think I want to async I want to immediately execute 
yeah, there's literally nothing I want to do other than dot in there HTML equals. Now, hopefully I can just literally put this as a string in here and then script element, the, the document dot body dot append script element there. I, I know I'm not hitting the enter key as much as I usually do. I actually have less room to do it. I'm just not hitting the enter key. I'll hit it when it becomes an issue. Cannot use import statement. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You guys are probably wondering what's going on here. Uh, type equals module. I got confetti. For a second there, I thought I hacked it, but I did not. <laughs> I can get an MD5 library. I have to import it. MD5. I do not want to run random libraries in my browser. This looks okay. And then I have to MD5 a string. And the string needs to be, I wonder if I could just, it's a template. So I can just put it in there. Is that string? And then I put it in there. Let's put some of these together. I don't want them together, but I'm going to put them together because I can't see what the heck's going on here. No, I'd separate it. And then that would append the script. But before the script is done, I need to, I want the script to do this. Then the, obviously string doesn't make sense. You got to call MD5 on it. MD5 string like this. And I guess why doesn't all this code just go inside of this script tag here? Like, why would this make sense to do it the way I'm doing it? But whatever. And then this will be there. It's even less able to be read. Do you like this? Look at this. I hit this and I don't know what any of these mean. Like what, what's all this? Why are you telling me all this? It's not useful to me. It's only started happening since I inadvertently got upgraded automatically to Sublime Text 4. And then we submit the form. We query the selector, we put that in there and then we submit it. I think that's it. And this stuff to be outside is fine. I just wanted some syntax highlighting, but honestly, it doesn't need to be outside. There's no reason for it. A string to hash. Yeah. If you're wondering why I'm not putting const or var or anything, it's because in the console, it doesn't need it. And by not doing it, it allows me to copy paste multiple times because you can override something that would, like, if you put let twice, it's not going to let you. That is not defined. Ooh, interesting. I do, I'm missing quotations because I'm doing it weird, too slow. I can literally hit submit and then type. Let's see if I can reload the, no, I can submit this. I can submit this by loading an iframe, but why would I load an iframe? What does that even matter? Is the challenge to MD5 encrypt the string or is the challenge to try to do cross-site scripting or something? And I, I don't know, because if I can inject an iframe on the page and then get it to work because I can inject the iframe with data and then like immediately have access to it. That's a potential. The iframe would be in the same parent document. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. There's a lot of, there are a lot of unknowns here. A lot of unknowns. I have absolutely no clue what to do. If I, even if I just click submit, it's too slow. You have to do the processing when the page loads, but I can't modify the page to do it. That's why I wonder what's going on. And like, like this isn't gonna work because it's gonna take forever for it to download unless it's been cached. I'm going to assume like this is this too slow is because when I submit the form, if we load it, even just loading it, it says that no, that was because it was submitting again, a center element was this HTML four to do, do, do form action method post. I can post this with like postman or something. I can also do a fetch call and hit this URL and do a post on it. It was like method post, but the problem is it needs to be in a format that's like form. I have no clue. I don't remember, but there's like a form format or something. If I was using Postman, I could do it in two seconds. I would like to see the results of this promise. Refreedable stream. Can you just give me like the, like what the response? Oh, you know what? If I'm doing fetch calls, they're probably in here. Yeah, they're in here. It was my response. Can't see anything. It's too big. Sorry. Can't, I just can't see it. There's no response. There's no response. I can't use, I think the problem here is I don't know what to do. Like I'm, I'm lost. If I knew relatively what to do, it'd be easier. I, I, it's saying MD5 encrypt the string. I did it and then it's like too slow. I like, do they not want you to like go copy it and then paste it in here really fast? They want to know that you're doing it in JavaScript. The problem is it, my JavaScript is not part of this website. Was the goal to somehow inject my JavaScript in the server? Is there a query string I can do? There's no logic here. There's no script tag. There's nothing. How do I do this? Do, do I use a query string and like inject some JavaScript in the page? Like. Alert equals one or something. It's going to call my function. I don't understand. Maybe callback equals, but th there's no code on the page that executes my code that I put there. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't understand where, where's the code that executes 
my code immediately. So when it loads the page, it MD5 encrypts it and it's in there. This is like really tough. Uh, downvote. <laughs> yes, downvote. Oh, that was weird. I don't want it too small so you can't read it, but I'm completely lost for sure. I really want to edit this video now. Three days. It took this guy three days to solve it or what? What does it, what does it mean? Is this the guy who made it? He's only been on here for three days and he figured out he made this like challenge that's in the, the top top one. Firebase solved this challenge. What? Without like doing anything? Like 35 minutes ago, somebody solved it? Use your own. Use your blood. I don't know what that means. Oh, first blood, like the first solution. Oh, this is brand new, this challenge. But how do I get that? If that many people can do it, I should be able to do it. I'm clearly inferior. I think I'm so good. And then I look at this. I'm like, I'm not, obviously. I have no clue what I'm talking about. Wait, let's go back to the web. Make sure this is, can I like open this in a new tab so I don't lose it? I, I don't understand. I really don't. Can you give me some information? How do you do this? How do I run code when the page loads? That's the question. I'm going to eject an iframe and run this in the iframe because I don't freaking know any other way to do it. Let's make an iframe and then inject some text. Oh no, I forgot how to inject stuff with quotes and stuff in an iframe. Before we do anything, let's do one of these and put this in here like this, because I don't want to do something weird like we're doing right now. Man, this is all in a string. I'm sure that's easy to read. Then we have to inject this into an iframe of this. And then when the iframe immediately is like loaded, we, we inject this code into it in the onload. Is that what we want to do? I think that's what we want to do. There's no other way I can think to like, you can't set a window listener and then have it just be there. Like when this is executing, you essentially set up a script that loads this URL and then ejects all this code immediately. This sounds like something you can do. Inject code into website on load. I could do it with a Chrome plugin. No, on load was the key word. On load. I want it on load immediately. Iframes on load. Yeah, I know how to do this. You don't have to tell me. Uh, oh, window to onload. Hang on. Is there some way to manipulate the window such that like when you get back to it, it would execute code? This sounds so hacky. Like you're going to hack websites. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. This is fine, but I don't want it in an iframe. I want it like in the web page, like a refresh, refresh your web page, but it's not really refreshed because I ran some code that's going to run on the next implementation of the load or something. Hang on. Is this what I think it is? Oh my God. Another guy. I guess I, I had worked with this guy at a, at a different place before. I think it would be more elegant to use the content document. I know this. I know I could do all this. I can do a source doc or whatever. This is not how I would do it. I, I have to use an iframe. It looks like I'm going to have to use an iframe and, and use the iframe. Oh, but this is, I'm all about the iframe. That's not, but I'm just entering the code into the address bar and finding, yes, cross-site scripting vulnerability, please. Yes. Like, otherwise I'm going to cheat it with the iframe. I don't think I'm supposed to use an iframe. Hang on. None of this is like method one console injection. Uh huh? How to inject. Right click, inspect, delete the event listener. Yeah. What? That is not, that's not, no, I need to put the JS in there myself. Address bar JavaScript. Yes. How do you do this? How do you do this? JavaScript colon. Ah, I can load the page and create and, and, and add my script into it potentially. I don't know how I would do that. How would I load the page? Let's see. If I do window.location. Cross-site scripting is what I was thinking of, but I can't do cross-site scripting unless I do uh, iframe or something. This is a pretty bad article. There's literally one piece of data that's important to me. I can like type random JavaScript here, script colon alert one, and this works. It does. Oh my God. Chrome's vulnerable guys. Somehow I have to use JavaScript to load a website. I guess we could try like window.location dot assign and then see if I can like change the the URL. Hi. Can I'll do the query string. Hang on. Three, five, zero, zero. And hash. And then do that and see if it goes to this website. No, it tries to search it because it didn't pick the JavaScript part. What did I copy? It's not putting the JavaScript in here. Chrome is probably doing that on purpose. It did go to hash. I can go to a website, but how do I inject code into it? How do I like take this and put it into that website? 
here I'm appending it into the body, but I want it as part of the HTML. The iframe method's going to work. I don't want the iframe method though. I want to try how you're supposed to do it. I'm assuming you're not supposed to just load up an iframe and then immediately when the iframes onload runs, you're injecting all this code in there. I don't think that's the case because I can cheat it on here and I don't want to cheat it. I'm about to cheat it though, because I can't figure out this way. I can do JavaScript colon in the URL bar and then load the page up, but that's almost the same as doing an iframe. And then and when you're doing this, there has to be some way to execute code. How do I execute code here? Can I do it like, a, let me try, but you can't get to URLs that you're not supposed to go to. Can I hack this? Is that what I'm supposed to do? 2.4, is, is this an old one? Let's try something else. JavaScript alert one. No, I cannot run arbitrary code when the page loads, unless I do something like this and put it in the front. If I was able to basically run arbitrary code and then do this, but I have to know when the window is loaded. Can I do an online, if I do this location assigned, I'm in charge of when it goes to the new page and when that window then loads, I can execute code. Let me try this real quick. We do this and we go here. Let's try hash two. It did it. This is interesting. Is there a way to listen to the history event? This is honestly going to be easier in the iframe method, let me tell you. You can, but I want to know when a history event occurs. Push state, replace state. These look like functions you call. I want to know when an event occurs. Window on back. Unexpected behavior of on back. Now, what about on load? Can I do like window dot on load? Window dot on load. Yeah, what about add event? listener on load. Oh, no, it'd be all lowercase and it would, would not have the on. It'd just be load. Console log. And then I'll do the, the assign. I have to change it. No, this never executed. What about like document dot ready? Document dot on add event listener ready console log. And then do one of these. I'm not sure because I'm like literally going to a new URL with that. I'm doing the hash. What? It's the hash that's changing. Yeah, it's gone. That console has gone when you go to a new page. You can change the hash, but that doesn't change this, I don't think. What if we did that though? What if we like change the hash and then executed this and saw if it says too slow or not? When I'm submitting this, I wonder what it's submitting. Let's try that. I'm going to, I'm going to actually just look at the network and hit submit. I'm going to preserve log. Then he clicks submit. Too slow. Yeah. That's what we got back. Is this what we submitted? How do you submit? Like, how do you, I don't think I've ever, let's see, request hash is nothing. All right, let's try something. This should have hassative form data is a hash. I can pass it in myself if I wanted to. Yeah. X W W U R uh, form URL encoded. Yeah. That's the content type. It's PHP again. We've got, I don't know. When I see PHP like this. I'm thinking like there's ways to hack this. Like I put my script in the cookie or something, but I can totally get this to work with the iframe. I just don't want to do it that way. I really don't. Don't make me cheat. I guess if I do the iframe method and it doesn't work, then I can look at other things, but I, I'll just do this. The only other way is to like hit the API directly. It's not an API, it's a website, but you can still hit it directly by passing this in. It'll hit PHP and then PHP will respond. PHP is the one responding to too slow. It must know that, oh, wait, I have a cookie. Is this how you do it? It's a cookie. You just mess with the cookie and you're like, oh, well, I actually was assigned the cookie yesterday. I'm going to have to shrink this because I can't see it. Session cookie, size 35. I don't know what that means. Session means I'm not in charge of it. The PHP is in charge of it and they're giving me the cookie. What if I get rid of the cookie value? This makes it look like I've never been here. Now, if I MD5 hash it, is that going to work? Dude, I don't even know if this code works anymore. Oh, I need to append it. String to hash is not defined. That's fantastic. It worked before. Don't ever change your code if it's working. This is a lesson learned. Do not ever change your code if it's working. That's still set too slow, but I'm not sure if I actually... This cookie, I'm going to get rid of the cookie. How about that? Now I won't know I was ever there. Are you kidding? I I'm not here. I don't have a session. Is there anything else? You get storing other data? No. Just a cookie. How would you know that I'm the person with this cookie? Because I'm when I submit this, I'm not going to have a cookie. Okay, hang on. Let's go back to network. Preserve log. I did not care about anything but the actual requests. Other? How do you get to HTML? Oh, doc. What did I submit? I submitted that hash. 
Maybe the MD5 hash is wrong, but it's not saying that. It's just saying too slow. Like maybe if it's in the right time frame, it'll actually say if it's incorrect or not. So I have no way to verify this is actually correct. How do you know? How do you know? The only data I'm sending is hash. Like I'm not sending anything, but the cookie is going to be sent. And the, every request sends a cookie. If I did this in Postman, like it shouldn't work. Yeah, see the session cookie, set cookie right there. Is that set cookie... Is that being sent? And even if I delete it, it's still being sent. It's like, I have no cookie and I click it and it's now you do. Every request I'm assuming gets this. Oh, keep alive. No, it's not. Obviously, that's not related. Why did I even point that out? This is the problem. This is cookie. We're just not gonna bother. And whoa, what? Where did you add this stuff? This is cool. Maybe I cache it and it fixes the problem. All right, I get rid of the preserve log and just make us fresh and go back to here to console. And what we're going to do is we're going to load an iframe and put this in the iframe and blah, blah, blah. I don't know why this didn't work inside this string here. It's actually bothering me. I want this inside of here. I'm going to, I'm going to put it back and see if I can get it to run. I don't need this. This is not going to work. Let's try it. String to hash is not defined. Let's look, take a look at the code. Let's take a look at the code. Interesting. Let's look at the, there's no script tag in here. I'm not seeing any script tag. Are you seeing a script tag? Where's my script tag? All right, let's look at the elements view. There it is. String to hash is not defined. To me, the string is most likely that we could log it, but it's going to say it's not defined. I bet you it's going to say it's not defined. Undefined. No, 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 that's not, that's always been there. It's not logging it at all. Oh, where am I? I need to put these back now. There we go. Yes. Good. Now it's working. What we're going to do here is we're going to create an iframe. And we're going to inject the iframe into the body. And then we're going to inject this into the iframe immediately once it's loaded. We're going to iframe element equals document dot create element iframe. And then the iframe element, there's a load. And then we're going to put this code that we've created in there. But we need to do it in the iframe itself. Instead of document dot body, it'll be like iframe dot owner document dot Something, let's see, if I do this, I can get an iframe, iframe element dot, um, content document. Is that, no, is that content documents you're talking. Oh, I have to render it in the DOM first. All right. But I think dot content documents what I want. Oh, I don't think so. Let's put this in the DOM real quick and see what happens. I do want to load event. I can do this. I just like loaded iframe there. And then I don't, I also want this to be here and then this will right now I'll just do it like iframe dot content document body and maybe this will work but uh document dot append and then not script element but iframe element wait why did i write iframe let's try this i hope anyone's following i made an iframe and cock cannot de read text content of null that's great because that meant this ran and was null i got all the way down here in the iframe or where? So it said loaded iframe. It, it did load the iframe. If we look at the iframe element now and we look at like dot content document, this is a document and this looks like, the, what does this have on it? Because if I type in document, it doesn't give me like a hashtag, does it? Oh, it does. Oh, append. Let's append script element. We, we don't have it, do we? We don't have it. I can frame that. I, I want to append the iframe element in itself and see if it breaks. <laughs> no, only one element on document allowed. Oh, um, oops, body. <laughs> I just destroyed it. Here's the thing is I'm not getting anything. What if I don't do all this? I just load the itself in an iframe. Oh, is it designed to not let me do that? It, it can't even load the iframe here. Oh no. Oh no. That idea is dead. Oh, that means it's going to be hard. Where's the iframe? Wait a second. When I loaded this, there was like a bunch of other stuff here at some point, but now I'm not seeing it has blocked cookies, blocked request. No, I want it to block the cookie. How to block a cookie from sending HTML. Yeah. HTML block cookie submit form. I don't know. I don't think so. Internet Explorer, dude, this is like not the article I want. If I load an iframe, there should be some other thing here, right? I can get the iframe context, but I can't do anything. I don't understand. Why is it not loading this in an iframe? 
I don't see any kind of security here. There's no policies or anything. You should be able to just load this thing in iframe. There's nothing. Did I, is the URL wrong? Yeah, there's no URL. iframe element.source equals window.location.href there. Save myself time having to type that. That did it in the iframe. Let's not do that. Now we're going to uncomment this. As far as I know, this is all working. We're going to refresh. I'm going to try it again. It's doing it. It's too slow. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It didn't always say too slow. Also, I'm going to shrink this so I can see it. We need to make the iframe height a little bit larger. Uh, dot style, I think, and dot set property height equal to, let's say 800 pixels or something. Is that one taller? That one is taller. 800 is way too big. 400 is probably plenty. <gasps> I saw something. Did you see it? See? It's that HB whatever. That one. Oh God, I can't copy it, but I, I did get a screenshot. I paused the video just to capture it. I got it. I'm going to type that in by hand because I don't know another way to do it. Yeah, you're definitely not supposed to do it with an iframe. How do I like... Say I'm done, like I did it. Submit a flag. Is that what this is? Oh, HTB. I'm like giving everybody the solution. Challenge difficulty rating. I would say it was too hard for for an easy. Because it's an easy, I would say it's too hard. I It's not too hard because I obviously solved it, but the actual solution I think was too hard for me. So I could not solve it. I'm submitting. Error incorrect. No, this is definitely right. Do I have to copy the flag? Hang on. I, I spelled it wrong. But I did it, right? That's cool. Oh my goodness, it has music. I don't know if you guys heard that. It was like... Cool. Let, great. That's a video. All right, that's an hour of me like really fumbling through it, like being born to... I think I should do this. Ooh. I did it, right? Congratulations to me and a video. Next one. Okay. And after after this video, I ended up recording another one, deleting my account, then trying a different website getting really frustrated there too and also deleting my account there we go i can always upload those videos later if you guys care about them